Next poem is another color poem. Green, the Garden of Eden when everything went downhill. Green looks like Adam naming a chameleon in a tree. Green sounds like Eve liming with an emerald serpent. Green smells like the fragrance of the forbidden. Green tastes like forced ripe fruit, bitterly disappointing. Green feels like fig leaves rubbing against tropical skin. <laughs> I think I think this is pretty easy to understand. And I guess green could also be the color of the devil being envious of God and causing all this trouble that we're in today. But anyway, green, <laughs> the Garden of Eden. Anybody want to comment on that? So this is so it began perfectly, as we heard in the the poem about creation. And then in these two poems, we see that it moved from perfection to the fall of man that has introduced all of the suffering that we have in the world today. Um, so I do believe in the Bible and um, have found God to be everything that he says that he is. So I don't have a problem um, believing these things. Like, I don't think that they're just stories, you know, children's stories that, you know, never really happened. I believe these things actually happen, like what the Bible talks about. And actually what's interesting about the Chinese and why I like to include it so much is because a lot of the concepts and meaning that's in, that encoded into Chinese seems to support a lot of what's in the Bible. So um, I, I, I really think that um, these stories are not just children's stories that never happened. <laughs>